example number eight here, uh, just as the previous example, you are given a set of consolidation test uh, results in terms of uh, effective stresses and the corresponding void ratios. And this time the soil specimen is drained on both sides. So it's a two-way drainage case. So the thickness of the specimen is uh, 25 millimeter is basically uh, twice the maximum drainage distance. So HDR for this soil specimen is half of 25 millimeter, so 12.5 millimeter. And then you also know the time for 50% 50 de 50 degree consolidation is 2.5 minutes. And you're asked to estimate uh, hydraulic conductivity K here. So just as a previous example, we're actually going to make use of this expression that relates coefficient of consolidation, CV, to hydraulic conductivity, K, through this coefficient of volume compressibility in unit weight of water. So again, this MV is coefficient of volume compressibility. And so first from this time, uh, this consolidation test result, we can actually figure out the coefficient of consolidation first. So the way to do it is to make use of this 50% uh, degree consolidation. And then use table 11.7 to find the corresponding T sub V. If you look at this table here, when U is 50%, the corresponding T sub B is 0.197. So 0.197. And we also know that the time T is 2.5 minutes. Okay. So from this, we can calculate uh, the coefficient of consolidation and this C sub V is T 50 times H dr square over time T. So let's call this T 50 here. Okay. So if you're plugging all these numbers to so 0.197 times so remember, this is a two-way drainage. So HDR is half of the thickness of the clay. So it's 12.5 divided by time t, which is 2.5 in a square here. And we're going to convert this um, into meter square per uh, minute. So 12.5 is so this is divided by 1,000 1, to convert it to meter. Okay. So again, it's 0 0.197, 0 0.025 meter divided by a meter square, divided by 2.5 minutes. So the coefficient of consolidation is 1.23 times 10 to negative 5 meter square per minute. Okay. So once we have C sub V, then um, to get K, we also need the coefficient coefficient of volume compressibility MV. So MV is the so coefficient of compressibility A sub V divided by one plus EAV here. And A sub V is just as what we did in example seven, delta E over delta sigma prime divided by one plus EAV. And given the winding consolidation test data, delta E is 0.92 minus 0 0.78, it's 0.14. And delta sigma prime is 120 minus 50, 70 kilonewton per meter square. And then for EAV, again, we're going to use one half of E1 plus E2. 
0.78, and this is 0.85. Okay. So if plugging all these numbers into the expression for MV, you get um, MV of 0.00108 meters squared per kilonewton. And finally, the hydraulic conductivity that we are looking for, K, is CV MV times gamma water. So this is 1.23 times 10 to negative 5 0.00108. And then unit weight of water is 9.81. So the hydraulic conductivity is 1.303 times 10 to the negative 7 meter per minute.